I love rubidium bromide, RBBR. Here we have a metal, rubidium, bonding with a non-metal, bromine. And when a metal and non-metal get together, they form an ionic compound, which is a transfer of electrons from one to the other to create ions. In this case, well, in any case, it's always the metal giving away electrons to the non-metal. To watch how that happens, let's take a look at where the electrons are to start with. Rubidium in group one brings one valence electron with it. So I'm going to draw it here with its one valence electron. And then bromine here in group 17 has seven electrons in its outer shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, the octet rule says that nonmetals want to have a full shell of eight electrons. So where is bromine going to get the eighth electron to complete its octet? Well, surprise, surprise, rubidium gives away an electron. There's a transfer, huh? Rubidium actually only has one electron and bromine only accepts one. It can get more complicated when Say the metal is giving away two electrons and each bromine can only handle one. You're just going to have to add as many of these as you need to make it work out so that all of your metals are empty, <laughs> at least their outer shells are, and all of your non-metals have a complete octet. But that's not the case here. Here, it's just a one and one. Oh wait, the formula told us that. One RB and one BR. No subscripts. Anyways, what's the complete Lewis structure? You're going to draw the RB with no valence electrons around it. It has a plus one charge because it lost a negative, gives it a positive charge. And the bromine, you're going to have to draw with eight electrons. Remember, it brought seven, but then got a bonus one from rubidium. There is my bromide square brackets with one extra negatively charged electron. It has a charge of minus one. These are the ones that get crisscrossed and canceled when you write the ionic formula. If that's how you write ionic formulas, I don't know how your teacher did it. This is your complete Lewis structure right here. This is just me showing how it happened. Thanks for being with me. Rubidium bromide rocks just like you do, my friend. Best of luck.